Washington was when I inherited this playbook, yeah, I looked at coach and said, Coach, I don't know any of this. Third down, pressure coming. Cousins has to get rid of it, and it's incomplete. Feeling. Oh, Kenny Clark, you're going to see him here. He's lined up over the rookie. Ingram, the right guard, and he just wins on a swim move. Look, inside oh. swim. Ingram's got no chance there. Trying to make this a one-score game. They keep it on the ground with Montgomery, and there finally is a call of Kenny Clark inside. Gain of two. Well, and potency offense here in Tampa, but they've gotten off to a slow start. Third and one, look to run, and Fournette is not going to get there. He is stacked up, and it's going to be fourth and less than a yard. What Tom tell us this week when we talked to him, he said, if we want to win games, we need to be great in situational football. Four-man rush. Brady in trouble. Slips away. No, he's taken down. Kenny Clark got his hand on him, and that was enough. Nice job. You're going to see Kenny Clark lined up right here over Luke Gedeke, number 67 to left guard. He kind of goes bull to speed around the edge. You see Brady came out. He was hoping to throw that ball to Cole Beasley on the little choice underneath. Kenny Clark is one of the premier interior players. Now it's a first down from the 37. And it's Stevenson with two Packers on him quickly, including Kenny Clark. You're going to try and block him one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, David Andrews has his hands full. Um, That's right. <laughs> Six. This is huge for this move. Six linemen in as Stevenson just comes off the seventh. He's going to make a ton of plays today by himself, and that's just rare at that position. He's a three-down player. And that's also rare to be great in pass and These defenders in the box. And they'll run right into it with Saquon Barkley. And Barkley tripped up at the 30. Four yards short now of a first down for the Giants, third and four. Defensively, four. 13 personnel, one halfback, three tight ends. And Jones heaving it down the sideline for Barkley. Watch the pressure right up the middle for Daniel Jones, and he's got to get rid of that ball quick. <laughs> Kenny Clark was all over him. Brees Hall in the backfield, they start from the 25 in this third quarter, with Hall getting a pitch, and there's just nowhere to go. Preston Smith blew that play up. Let's go down to Aaron. You were starting to espouse just what a presence Kenny Clark is. Care to add to that? Well, he's just a monster in the middle, and if you're... Two. Here is Pollard cutting back inside the 40. Yard and a half or so for Pollard on that carry. <laughs> Maybe. Second and ten. It's a give to Pollard and not much there. Packers had pretty good pressure on that and up comes third down. It's funny to me how often, you know, these mics are so good. We pick up everything. First down and five from the 36-yard line. Henry. You know, Denver did a really good job against Henry Lance Smith, who's setting an edge up the top, and then watch the penetration. This is how you exploit this outside stretch play. You get a good push from the interior, get the penetration, set the edge there by Preston Smith, and make Derrick Henry have to cut back under. About tackling as well. They missed about 22 tackles last week against Philadelphia. Darrington Evans got hit hard. That was well done by Kenny Clark, a name that Joe Barry pointed out to us immediately for somebody he needs to have play better. Yeah, and this is that edge defense we're talking about right here coming off the edge. You got Kenny Clark in there, and then see the, the uh, I think that was Nixon coming in from the outside right here. That's how you do. You populate the football, meaning let's get everybody on our defense to the point of attack, to the running back. Let's get guys down. Four downs to play with. <laughs> That crack toss and a good penetration play by Kenny Clark. That's a loss of a yard. Seventh-year man out of UCLA has been called upon to do more. That was a good play. Wow. I mean, you want to talk about first contact wins. You watch this because this is nasty. Inside, right there, throw Jenkins on the ground. Come across. And I will tell you, Kenny Clark, I'll just be honest. And they've just not been able to slow anyone down. They go back to it, and Kenny Clark says, oh, yeah? Oh, we can't stop the run, huh, Buck, huh, Aikman? <laughs> a loss of two on that carry by Akers. Well, we all know about the Rams' offensive line and a lot of the changes and different lineups that they've had throughout the year. Good job there by Kenny Clark.
beating the center, Brian Allen. Field on second and 17. And he gets it over the right side, and he's brought down immediately by Kenny Clark, who's made a couple of stops. Third down and long coming up. Yeah, Kenny Clark is obviously one of those dominant players that you've got to be able to handle. He's uh, he's a load inside. He's already off to a good start in this game, making a couple plays. A big hit rather than just throwing it away. Fourth sack of the night for Green Bay. Mayfield got hit, picked off by Douglas. Rasul Douglas by Kenny Clark. He fights through the double team that allows him then to get to Baker Mayfield. He sees him step up and here he comes. He's the one who gets a hand on him and the ball then underthrown. He's trying to get the ball up the sideline to Skoranek. They're trying to make their best guy. Third and four. He looked that way. Did Cousins. And that's batted down. What a nice play by Douglas. And that's what's going to happen. When you're going to put Alexander on your best receiver and double him. He's not going to be in the same spot as Kenny Clark, who I think with Gary out is the guy how to defend him. Well, he's in the slot against a D lineman. Give it to him. Ball's knocked out of his hands and recovered by Green Bay. Kenny Clark did it all. He got to the quarterback, popped the ball out of his hands, and fell on the leather to give the Packers the ball back. Their third takeaway of the game. And wow, what a strip. Big time play. Packers feeling like, oh, nope, they're fine. Andre Swift is the back. Third and six. Pack bring four. Goff hit as he throws incomplete. Throwing a couple of wobblers here. Great interior pressure is generally going to come from that guy right there, Kenny Clark. He has been to the Pro Bowl a couple of times, but he is the force that you have to stop inside, and they're going to try and line him up against Evan Brown there tonight to try and get the mismatch. And keep an eye on the Lions all night.